Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Breaking For Last Time. My name is Katie. Today, I'm going to be popping this palette's cherry. Finally, I'm trying a new fucking brand on this channel. This is Winter Wonderland by MBA Cosmetics. Let me just make sure that's what it's called. MBA Cosmetics. It's my beauty addiction, which you guys know. <laughs> I can relate to that. That's some shit I can fucking get on board with. So, anyways, if you guys are curious to see how I got this look, or hear my final thoughts on this palette, or if you guys just like to watch, then hang out. Okay, so I'm primed with my P. Louise primer in Rumor 02. I just need to give it a second to kind of set up a little bit better than it is. I'm really excited to try this palette. And it's like kind of one of those color stories where I see a hundred different looks. Basically, what I'm going to do actually today is I'm going to do the easy look. I'm not going to mix the colors that I normally would mix just because... I normally do that and so I kind of want to do something that I wouldn't normally do which is probably the thing that most people would normally do. So having said that I'm going to start with my Voldemort VM506 <laughs> and I'm going to go into the color Chili Burr. Almost no kick up. kind of have to build it. I know a lot of people don't really care for that, but... And I'm just taking this about two-thirds of the way in, or maybe three-quarters. <laughs> you know why girls make bad carpenters? <laughs> because they've been told that this was nine inches their whole life. <laughs> And so I'm going to stop right there. I do have some skid marks right there, which is super annoying, but whatever. And then I'm just going to use another Voldemort M506 because when you don't, when you use smaller brushes that are more compact and you start, and then you try to use like a bigger, more fluffy brush, it doesn't really blend the way you want it to. So I'm going into the color Frigid, and I'm going to go in just to the edge of that, and then I'm going to go 50% on and 50% off, which there's way more kick up in the pan on this one, which says to me that it's got like, I don't know, it's not as, as tightly packed, and so it's going to... And I feel like this color is much darker on the eye than it looks like what it's going to be in the pan, but maybe I'm wrong. I feel like I shouldn't have done this much of a, a, like, I shouldn't have done this easy of a color combination because it's really not a test of how good the shadows <clears throat> apply. I'm not sure what's going on inside my throat, but I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number 20, and I'm going to go into the color Snowball. I use the Blend Bunny Blends, or the Blend Bunny Primal uh, White in a live the other day, and it was so fucking good that I was like astounded and here let me move my mirror and my head what's going on like literally astounded by how good that white was it was blending out the black like it wasn't even black you know I'm glad that although normally I wouldn't wear a, use a white in a palette well like I said upon using that white in the in the primal palette the other day I was like holy fuck I really like using white also I feel like there's a you can't really have like a winter wonderland palette without having a white historically every time I've ever used white in a look it's really given it up it's been a mood you know what I mean there's been an effect of using white that is like well I don't know it's just it just adds an effect like Normally, I use white to make my look look a little bit more bony, but it also gives it like this wintry look, which 
I'm like trying to capture. So I'm just going back into Chili Burr. Bringing that up over my brow bone. It was actually like feeling like it was a little bit being weird, but I knew I was being like a little bit too hasty to pass a judgment. Here, let me try to cover this white because I don't like what I did there. I'm gonna take this chili burr and I'm just gonna run it along my lower lash line. trying to I really like my lower lash line to be very pigmented I really like the shape of that now I'm gonna go into frigid that lighter purple and just kind of bringing this up and around Oops. <laughs> this is my white brush. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'm going to go back in with this Voldemort PM506. I'm like, why is this seeming like I, I totally screwed up? Why do I vaguely remember specifically saying I was going to use a Voldemort PM506 with this color? <laughs> I really like this purple, it's really pretty. You guys know I love this color of purple, so. It's like dead lips purple. You guys know I love that shit. I'm really starting to see something coming together here. I'm going back in with the white and I'm gonna actually really tap this off because this is a really fiercely pigmented white and I don't want it to be, I don't want it to cover up this purple, but I am gonna kind of go in at the backside on the ass end here. Man, this is really pretty. I like it. It's simple, but it's like pretty. I just went in for another dippy poo. On my live the other day, I really went in and like actually like blended how I normally always blend and like how I blend when I get off camera, if things don't look quite right. And so I think, you know, I used to never take, I used to never edit out my blending. But it's like your videos just get too fucking long. Uh, so I'm going in with Frigid, that middle color, because I see I've got a line right here that I don't like. And so I'm just going to kind of tap that. And I like that a lot. That looks really pretty. It's blunt really nicely. Going back in with my white brush with no additional product. And I'm just going to kind of... This definitely looks wintry. I'm gonna go in with another dip of that white. And with Frigid, the lighter purple, I'm just gonna kinda go like this. And then right here, I've got a little bit of... Mm, yeah, that looks great. And I'm gonna go back into Chili Burr and I'm just gonna reinforce this, which I have no creasing. That looks really nice right there. I have a little bit on to the inside, but... That doesn't really matter because I didn't really try to get the blend out there nice. And also that's all going to be covered. So I don't really work too hard on the inner corner usually because I take my shimmers up way above my crease. So, I mean, that could be said for the outer V too, but when I'm first packing on color, the outer V does usually show because I kind of try to fade out my shimmer out. So the outer corner usually does show at least a little bit. So if there's any creasing, which happens to me a lot because of my... I have hooded eyes and they get more hooded the older I get, as will all of ours. I just try to keep it as clean as I can, which, I, and I don't, I don't freak out about it like I used to because, well, I don't really care about it like I used to. If I cared about it, I would freak out about it. But 
it's just like the way it is. Like once you start getting used to wearing makeup, you get used to the things that it does and the things that drive other people crazy who don't wear makeup are things that you don't really give a fuck about anymore. I'm just going in with no additional product on that middle purple and giving it a little blendy poo. Then with the darker purple, I'm kind of just barely topping this out. And... Okay, I am really happy with this. Really happy with it. Now, I'm going to use my P. Louise Cut Crease Brush with my Unearthly Glimmer Grass. So all of these are blue except arctic blast so i'm going to use arctic blast on the lid and then i'm gonna just i'm just doing something really simple today sorry guys i hope you're not disappointed i just really wanted to try this and i really wanted to see what the quality of the formula was so i'm going in with my glimmer grasp and i'm going to that's a little bit thick shoot And then with my Jessup 234, I'm going to go into Arctic Blast. Ooh. Ooh, that Glimmer Grasp is really working, huh? That's really pretty. Wow. I was going to put another color on there, but I'm not. This is really pretty, and there's a nice shift, so it'll give me some of that shift at the top. So it will almost have the effect of a different color, except we know better. <laughs> but other people don't. <laughs> That's the thing we always need to remember, like, when we're on here and we're like, you know, blah, 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 and we think, like, makeup civilians do not fucking know what we know, right? This looks like several colors. Wow, that shift is really pretty. Dang. It's like a white to greenish gray. It's a little bit more textured than I... Wow, that's really nice. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a pretty thick cover. I could have definitely stood to not put my finger on there, but I'm going to go in with my Voldemort M506 with, that has the dark purple on it and just kind of... Get this nice and blunt. I'm gonna do it again. I've been noticing in my pictures my outside, my outer V blend hasn't been that good because I think I keep forgetting it. Mm, that looks really good. You get fucking lazy, you know what I mean? You're like, well, fuck it. I don't care if the outer V's got creasing. <laughs> I don't care if my fucking lines aren't blent out. <laughs> just kidding, I don't ever do that, but Sometimes you just like don't realize that your lines aren't blent out and then it's too fucking late and everybody thinks you look like a clown. I really like this white. That really gave it some kind of fucking mood. Mm, I love that. And okay, so because I... I'm not sure this is gonna do it for me, but I'm gonna use the color Jack Frost as my inner corner highlight. It's not shifty, it's just a shimmer, but let's see what she's got. Okay. I think I can live with that. I'm gonna give it a little spritzy poo and see if I can't brighten it up just a titch. A little titchy poo. <laughs> can I stop saying poo, please? Annette, can I stop saying poo? All right. It's a good inner corner highlight. Yeah, in fact, it's probably a good brow bone highlight. Let's go, let's check. I'm gonna use my Zoeva 238, little teensy tiny. go into Jack Frost, give it a little. Okay, I like it. I like that, yeah, that's nice. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. I really like that. Yeah, I really like this. Okay, that's the look. I'm going to go finish the rest of my face and I'll be back when I'm done. So, this is the manifesto, the pièce de résistance. 
I use my Rouge and Rogue eye wigs and I literally have no idea what they are. My LA Girl Neon Shockwave in Vivid on my waterline. My Notoriously Morbid Mystic Metallic in Real Hot Girl Shift. And for my highlighters, I used Ethereal by Unearthly Cosmetics and my Bitter Lace Beauty Kaleidoscope Glow Highlighter in Whimsical. I don't know if you can see the shift, but you can see it on my skin. Anyway, yeah, this was a good time. I really like this formula. It works really good. It blunt really nice. Obviously, I used colors that were super easy to blend, but honestly, like, how what could go wrong? Uh, you know, I, I feel like all the colors are going to go good, and I'm going to do another look that's a little more difficult. I just, I really just wanted to do something easier today just because... Not because it was easier, but just because it felt different. It felt like some, doing something different for me to do the, the more easier look. And just doing like one color instead of doing like what I normally do, which was what I, I would have been like from the blue to the purple or the blue to the purple to the green or the blue to the purple to this or the, you know what I mean? Like I would have, dude, all of those combinations look really great to me. I just didn't feel like doing that today. So anyways, I think I look super cute. I'm really excited I have an appointment to go to. I hope my boyfriend's gonna see me tonight. I don't really know. That's all there is. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkly and personality, my boy's charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. If you got like halfway through this video and you're like, oh my God, that girl's so pretty till she opens her big fucking mouth, then go check me out on Instagram. I don't talk as much on Instagram. And if you were like, don't sugarcoat it, Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel? Then go check out my Patreon. The link is listed in the description box below. And we're starting to have a really good fucking time on there. So go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me. And I totally appreciate you. Later.